hey guys welcome back to my channel today's video we are doing a fall makeup look which is so exciting this is one of my favorite first eyeshadow looks to do when we're approaching fall warm eyes and red lips it's just my favorite so i thought it would be perfect to kick it off this year we're actually like a week away from fall which is super exciting but yeah if you guys want to learn how to do this complete makeup look then just keep on watching i'm having to sit so low in this video if you guys could see how low i am just so my puff can fit in the frame <laughs> Anyway, let's get started. I'm excited. So we're going to prime with my favorite primer. I'm either using this or the, what's the other one? I'm either using that or this one, but because it's literally 7 p.m., I'm not gonna put on any sunscreen because this has sunscreen in it. It gives a really nice glow for during the day. But I'll toggle between that one and this one. This one is literally my favorite blurring primer. I've used a lot of blurring primers in the past. This one is the bomb. It's from Thrive Cosmetics. It's the filtered effects blurring primer I talked to you guys about this before in the past many times on Instagram I guess I shouldn't say talk to you when I say talk to you I'll be including my captions <laughs> but that's not talking to you guys but I tag it because I use it a lot as my primer why am I doing my makeup at 7 p.m. you might be wondering I literally just wanted to sit and play in makeup no really rhyme or reason I don't have anywhere to go obviously we are still in a pandemic but I wanted to show you guys my favorite fall makeup look that is kind of like the first fall look that I will do when we start the season so for foundation I'm using my new favorite which is the NARS soft matte complete foundation when I tried it in my review video honestly I put way too much of the foundation on so it looks a little bit more cakey than how it's been looking ever since then of course it was like a first impression so kind of get used to how much to apply the foundation and all of that as you use it i definitely have gotten used to that so i basically go in with like one pump and then move it around my entire face spreading the goodness i just really like how it's matte but not too matte it's like a really lightweight matte foundation and when i pair it with that primer from thrive it's like a match made because it helps to prolong it too i feel like blurring primers honestly help a lot when it comes to mattifying the skin because blurring primers have like a silicone feel which kind of fills in the pores which sounds kind of bad <laughs> but it kind of fills in the pores and it helps with mattifying so usually when I want something more mattifying I will go in with a blurring primer because it doesn't intensely mattify it gives me like a soft mattifying effect which I really like even though I do have oily skin I do still like for that glow to kind of peek through a bit not be too like cement you know <laughs> well, actually I got like combination skin so I got everything. <laughs> so I ordered some sushi like less than 10 minutes ago and I guess the person that's picking up clicked the wrong button or something because they said they're approaching with it but they're not on the GPS. They look like they're at the restaurant. Anyway, ordering food online is very convenient but at the same time, I'll be feeling like I just need to go get it myself. Like last week, I ordered some food and he literally delivered it to the wrong address and he blocked me like from calling because I called three times and he didn't answer and I guess he didn't recognize the number even though I'm like dude you know you just deliver some food answer some random numbers because you never know I ended up having to get out and get the food because I was still hungry <laughs> and if you have problems with your order they will just refund you they won't even try to figure out where your food is I be thinking I want my food I know you think solving the problem is giving me a refund but I'm still hungry <laughs> Anyway, it's just a mess sometimes, but then most of the time it is very convenient. And I love the leave at the door feature. Love that. By the way, for concealer, I just applied the Laura Mercier uh, Flawless Fusion Concealer in the shade 4N. One of my favorite concealers for sure. Just blending this in with the Sigma F64 brush. This is literally one of my favorite favorite brushes this is like the number one brush i would recommend if you do a full face of makeup this is the number one brush i recommend from sigma like you can use a regular foundation brush like whatever you're comfortable with but for concealer this is the bomb the f64 i've been using this brush for years it is so nice i have multiples of this brush because i love it so much i actually always keep two on my desk <laughs> because like when one gets super dirty and like i'm lazy then i 
can just pick up the new clean one. But literally, the F64 is my favorite brush from Sigma. And then to set the concealer, I'm going to use the Allure Mercier Translucent Honey Powder. So when I first got this powder and used it like a few times, I really didn't think there was much of a difference of the color. And I was using it, I liked it, obviously. I already liked the powder. But I didn't know if it was like super different. And then I went back to the regular translucent. Whoa, it's a major difference. When I use this translucent honey, I don't have to set my face with a spray to make it settle into the skin, like it already settles into the skin. If I was running late and I didn't feel like setting my makeup, I definitely could just go out like this and not have to worry about it looking powdery or anything like that because the shade is just so so nice but of course when I do have time which is most of the time I will go in and spray just because it gives like a more luminous and natural look right off the bat as opposed to waiting for my natural oils to create it itself but you guys know what I mean it's like just a really nice color okay for brows I'm going to use a brow pomade you guys like I have not used a pomade in so long so I have two shades from KVD vegan beauty it's the long wear pomade I have medium brown and dark brown when I open Open these up they really look very similar can you guys see which one is dark brown and medium brown they literally look the same this one is dark brown and this one is medium brown so I don't think I'm gonna go wrong with either one I literally just nicked the other one so what happens now I'm gonna have brown in my nails and I'm getting my nails on Thursday and he's gonna be looking at me like what's that <laughs> whatever it looks so bad it looks like ew that looks bad. I think I'm gonna go with the medium brown, even though they both honestly look very, very similar. Let's go on the safe side. I'm really scared of pomades. That's why I don't really use them. It's like you can go wrong with it very quick. When I first started my YouTube channel, I was using, I was only using pomades, really. So what I used to do is I would put a little bit on the brush and then tap off, like tap one side and then flip the brush around and tap it again so that it's not in a Intense amount of product and that's what I'm doing right now I'm trying to channel young Taylor as if I was that much younger I'm trying to channel five years ago Taylor on what I used to do my eyebrow is growing back really well you guys I don't know if you guys saw my last makeup tutorial but I shaved off my eyebrow on accident it's like I don't even know how that happened. It happened before I even knew it happened. It was like a new razor, it was super sharp. And I really don't even use razors to clean up my brows. I only tweeze my brows, but I wanted to see the difference and if it was easier to like just shave and then go on with my day. And then I shaved my brow off. <laughs> <laughs> this pomade is nice so far. Oh, and another thing, the reason why I kind of stopped using pomades is because you have to use like two different products. You have to use a brush and the actual product and a spoolie to brush it out. So like three different products with a pencil. You just have to use the pencil and the brush that comes at the end. So it's just easier. I could get the job done a lot faster with the pencil. But this is looking nice. Like look how fierce that is <laughs> i may have to go back to the pomade for a little bit by the way before we get like super far into the tutorial please let me know what kind of videos you guys want to see even if you don't comment on a regular basis i would love to hear from you when you guys let me know what you want to see it definitely changes my calendar of what i'm gonna film so please let me know what you guys want to see so that i can see Stay on track with you guys because I do this for you guys so let me know make sure you let me know in the comments I'm gonna clean them up really quick and I'll be right back because this one went a little haywire <laughs> okay just finished my brows and my sushi just got here so I'm gonna go get it off the porch hold on so just got my sushi and because I've been talking about it the whole video I thought I'll show you guys this is what it looks like it honestly looks like it's been through some things in the drive over here I've never had this one before mm. Mm. That's good. okay you guys I need to finish so I can eat that because that is so good for bronzer I'm going to use the Mentic Cosmetics bronzer in the shade Beach Bomb and yes I'm applying it with the same brush that I used for my foundation but it's the second one it's not the same exact one but it's the same exact one 
<laughs> All right, and on to the fun part. Let's do our eyeshadow. So I'm going to prime with the Sigma eyeshadow base primer in the shade Persuade. You have to move fast with this primer because it literally dries and stays, which is kind of my favorite part about it. Because I don't have to worry about my eyeshadows creasing or anything with this primer. I forgot that I wanted to set my brows, even though I don't even need to because I'm not going anywhere. <laughs> but I want to try out this brow gel gel that Bare Minerals just came out with. It's the Strength and Length Serum Infused Brow Gel and it's supposed to grow your brows. So that's really the reason why I want to use it. Okay, for eyeshadow, I'm going to use the ColourPop Coast to Coral Eyeshadow Palette and this is honestly going to fulfill my dreams of a warm eyeshadow look. So we're going to start with this shade Angel Fish. I actually used this eyeshadow palette in my live last Friday. If you guys tuned into that, let me know know down in the comments we're gonna be doing a different look this time it's not gonna be the same okay and next I'm gonna go in with Queensland and I'm just gonna try this out because I know this one works in the outer crease but I want to see it this one I haven't tried this one yet so we're gonna use that shade in the outer corner it's kind of giving me the vibe but I think I'm gonna have to go outside the eyeshadow palette in order to get the deepness that I want pick whatever deep brown that you have in your collection but I'm going to use the give a glam powder kiss soft matte eyeshadow and it's just a deep brownish maybe even a little bit of a, like a dark deep purple shade and just apply this to the outer corner because I want something a bit smoky to kind of bring in those fall vibes you guys we are one week away when I'm filming this is September 15th we are one week away from fall that's crazy this weekend you guys it's gonna be in the 70s like the high is the 70s I cannot wait fall is my favorite season let me know what you guys favorite season is down below with fall I just feel like I can easily warm up with jackets and stuff just where I live like if you live up north that's a whole nother situation I don't even know if there's anything you can put on to not be cold with the amount of snow and negative degrees that you guys get but here it's really easy to put on like a coat and be very comfortable but a lot of people won't say that that, that live here they'll be like nah it still be cold it just depends on the person definitely but let me know where you guys are from and let me know what your favorite season is I'm asking a lot from you guys I want you guys to tell me what videos you want to see where you're from so when it comes to blending eyeshadows it's a lot of back and forth you're going back in with the transition color and the deeper shade that you're applying that's why I literally have both eyeshadow brushes in my hand because I'm constantly tapping into both to make sure that the blend blend is exactly how I want it and the blend on how much to blend is definitely an eye thing like you just looking at it and you seeing what needs to be blended what needs to be added it's almost exactly like painting a picture when artists do paint a picture or draw something they're looking at it's taking a step back and seeing what they need to add or blend a little bit more and stuff like that it's the same kind of thing so looking at it like that is kind of how you get the perfect blend now for the fun part so we're gonna go in with this center shade it's called Diver. It's almost like a orange and gold mixed together. So we're gonna apply this to the lid and I'm using a MAC 242 brush. Okay and then for the inner corner I'm gonna go in with the shade The Keys and apply this with a Giorgio Armani there's no number. <laughs> a Giorgio Armani like pencil brush. It's really like the same shade but like a touch lighter. This brush is so soft. It's like a little cloud. And then on the lower lash line I'm gonna mix that deep shade and the shade that we use for our transition and just kind of blend that down there another thing I want to remind you guys of when you're doing your makeup is makeup is fixable so don't panic if like it goes too dark too fast it's definitely fixable just keep on blending and it will work out because my eyeshadow looks <laughs> usually look worse before they look better that's for sure for the waterline we're gonna do something fun we're gonna use this eyeliner from the same uh, coat the coral collection and it's in the shade of bay breeze and it really just opens up the eyes okay so my camera memory got full but I applied the lash glue to my lashes I'm going to be using the velour lashes in the style can't be tamed I just realized you guys can't even see that this candle is lit like the other one that I normally use I just got a bunch of candles from Bath and Body Works I moved this one in here but the packaging frosted it so you can't see that it's lit 
but it's lit. I like having a candle in the back. It gives like chill vibes. <laughs> I'm using the Joa Beauty Mascara. It's the Lash Up Rising Voluminizing and Lengthening Mascara. And then to hide the lash band, I'm gonna go in with the Honest Beauty Liquid Eyeliner. And then for blush, we're going to be using this orangey blush from the Costa Coral Collection from ColourPop. Let me dip my brush in here. And then for highlight, I'm going to use this highlighter from Kier Weiss. I love how that glows, but it still looks natural. Like it doesn't look like there's like a harsh highlighter on my skin. So we are now to the lips. I am going to line them with the KKW New 3 Lip Liner. Okay, I'm tripping. I'm about to put on a red lip. I need to line my lips with MAC Night Moth. So I'm just gonna put this right on top. I'm going to use one of my favorite reds. This is the Persona Cosmetics Holy Grail Liquid Lipstick. I think I'm gonna add a little bit more blush just because I feel like the red made my face a little bit more pale. So let's add a bit more blush and then a little bit more highlight. And then to really finish off the look, we're gonna use the Tula Signature Glow Face Mist. All right, you guys, this is the finished makeup look. It definitely, you know what, now that we're at the end of this video, I can tell you guys this is not the kind of makeup look I was trying to come up with. As far as the eyes, it's more fiery red than what I was going for, but it still came out really nice. So thank you guys so, so much for watching. Make sure that you subscribe before you leave and thumbs up this video. And I promise I'll see you guys next time. Bye guys and happy fall. <laughs>